Hello guys and welcome to another Epic 7 video. We finally have ML Huayung's kit and also her S3 animation. The S3 is one of the coolest looking animations I have seen in a while. Reminds me of Killua from Hunter x Hunter. Sadly I cannot show the S3 animation, otherwise the video will be taking down, but you can find it in my Discord if you are interested. Now let me show you her kit and give you my thoughts. But keep in mind, these info are not official or confirmed yet, so take all of this with a grain of salt. Alright, first, ML Huayung is a dark warrior, and she will share the same base stats as ML Bologna or Rem, for example. As for her kit, we have her S1, and it's a very basic S1 with single target damage and self-combat readiness push. This will help her cycle her turns in order to use her S3 fast. The CR push should be 20% after you max Mola the skill. Second, we have her S2, and it's one of the most broken passives we currently have. It makes her immune to all debuffs and buffs. This can work wonders or work against you depending on the final release of the hero. Being immune from debuffs means she will be able to counter and deal with heroes like ML Luna, or any heavy debuffer in general. I'm also sure she will be immune to seal as well. But in the other hand, she is also immune to buffs, meaning you can't give her any attack or defense buff for example. So this means she will have hard time surviving on her own. Her S2 also allow her to nuke with her S3 when an ally takes 40% or more damage from a single attack. Now for her S3, it's a single target nuke that ignores damage mitigation and sharing effect. It also deals increased damage to light element heroes. In my opinion, this skill will be the deciding factor for ML Huayung to be either beyond broken or complete trash. Meaning, if her S3 multipliers are solid and can deal at least 25k HP to ML Senya and Ilinav, she will be the most complete counter to bulky light units. But if her damage is average or can't even take out a well-built Ruel, then we have a big problem. So until we know how much damage her S3 does, we cannot say for sure. I personally think that they will make her able to take out 20k HP Ruele and extinct her. And if that's the case... I'm completely fine with it because Ruel has been running crazy in current meta. But if she can't even take Ruel out, she is going to be horrible even with her passive and immunity. But like I said, we have to wait and see how her numbers turns to be. Alright guys, thank you for watching and like always don't forget to leave a like and comment what you want to see next.